Hey guys, what's up? This is Ari in Beijing, otherwise known as your biggest fan. Um, before we get into our main topic today, I wanted to give you a quick update about my Chinese channel. I did want to announce formally on this video that that is now live. So if you want to watch some really awesome Chinese content, we're blowing up on Billy Billy and Yoku and uh, also on YouTube. So um, definitely go and check it out. I'll post the link in the description. And remember to subscribe to the Chinese channel. On to today's topic, which is traveling. <laughs> So we'll go to China for the next three weeks. Um, unfortunately, won't be able to record any shows during that time. Although, you know, hopefully I'll try and film some stuff in China for you guys. But just thinking about going to China um, really got my brain thinking about um, an interesting topic for today's video, which is really traveling and why traveling is so important in language learning. Here's the thing with traveling, right? Um, traveling is really pretty amazing because the most important thing with language learning, and I know it seems like every week I say the same thing, the most important thing of language learning is this, the most important thing of language learning is this. Well, here's really the core most important thing of language learning, which is motivation, right? If you have motivation and you have a will to learn language, um, and this applies not just to language, but really to life in general, if you have that will and that desire and that passion to learn the language, you're gonna learn it, right? So traveling, in my view, really provides that motivation, right? If you have a goal, if you have a goal and you say, I'm going to China in three months. Uh, you're going you're gonna to do whatever it takes to learn the language if you don't speak it, right? Because you need to be able to get around. You need to, it, it just has to happen, right? I have a really good friend who set himself a goal. Uh, he's going to Hong Kong to learn Mandarin and Cantonese. Uh, and he has to learn enough to take a course in Mandarin in Hong Kong um, in like three months, right? So he has to basically learn an entire textbook in three months. And if he doesn't learn, he can't do the program, right? So traveling kind of provides a similar goal, right? In order to travel, you need to set yourself a goal of learning a language well. So it seems like with a few countries that I've been to the past, it's been exactly the same way. Uh, you know, when I went to Italy, I learned a little bit of Italian before going. Israel, learned a little bit of Hebrew. Hong Kong, actually have a few videos about this, spent a bunch of time brushing up on Cantonese. Why? Because going to these countries, the instant that I bought the ticket, I felt this insane motivation to go out and learn that language because Let's face it, if you're going to Hong Kong, you're going to Israel, you're going to Italy, and you can't speak the language, well, you're not, I mean, you don't, you don't really, it, it really kind of diminishes the value of the trip, in my opinion. Um, for me now, obviously, uh, you know, I spend most of my time with Mandarin, and I need to go, I need to frequently go back to China in order to really refresh my motivation um, and remind me why it is that I'm spending so much time learning this language. To be able to force myself to really pay attention and say, like, okay, I am going to, I need to make sure my Chinese is good because I need to be able to, to, to travel to China. So what can you do to kind of further enhance your, your, your in-country language experience? Well, set yourself a goal in that country um, for, you to really, for you to really prove out your language ability. Um, so maybe you have a friend you haven't seen in a while and you want to impress him or her with your language ability, right? Maybe you're meeting with, uh, uh, with you know, some, some business or, uh, or, you know, you have a particular idea you want to test out and you have some, some people in country who can kind of help you with that, uh, learning language would be an amazing way to impress them, right? So set yourself a goal, even if it's something really artificial, like I just want to be able to ask the guy in uh, the Forbidden City, you know, where the Starbucks is, right? Or some, some ridiculous like that, right? Even if it's an artificial goal, that goal can be super important to really bumping up your language learning. Now, obviously travel can be expensive. Um, and if you can't afford it right now, that's okay. Cause what you can do is, um, uh, you know, if you live in a city like New York, uh, go to Chinatown, make that your, your, your special outing, right? Set yourself a goal, say, okay, in a couple months, I want to be able to go to a, you know, really Chinese speaking neighborhood and be able to order groceries in Chinese or order a meal or dim sum in Chinese. That's an incredible goal and, and bring a friend, right? Hold yourself accountable. Tell your friend, okay, we're going to go to this place in two months. I'm going to be able to order in the restaurant at the restaurant in Chinese and you're gonna be freaking amazed. So even if you can't go to the actual country itself, um, going to a neighborhood where they really speak that language um, is, you know, in some ways just as valuable. So uh, just wanted to say, by the way, thank you everyone so much for subscribing and your support. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, when I get back from China, I have some awesome content for you. I was talking to the fan yesterday, um, got some really great ideas from that. I wanna do a video about um, how I spent my days in Beijing, how I personally, what my personal study schedule was like when I was living in China, 
um, and that sort of stuff. Also want to do a video about really awesome Chinese media that can help you, um, you know, separate the, the kind of the crap from the, the not crap and um, really bump up your motivation in terms of watching media. So stay tuned for when I get back from China. That'll be in three weeks or so. And um, looking forward to seeing everybody. Zaijin!